There's nothing little about these houses on the prairie. Fueled by a mix of business-friendly tax laws and rapid growth in the medical and financial fields, Sioux Falls is experiencing a boomlet in the luxury home market. Some affluent buyers, not finding what they want in existing stock, are building new mansions and bringing new styles and amenities to town with them. The change is evident downtown, where recent arrivals like a farm-to-table bistro and a French patisserie attract the cosmopolitan set. The low slung skyline, dotted with quartzite stone architecture from the 1800s, will soon be joined by a new condo project, where finished penthouses will sell for the once unheard of price of $1.8 million. Troy Stallings and his wife and business partner, Jane Shorma, built a 6,600 square foot, old world inspired home with Peruvian limestone floors and a freestanding maple wood staircase in 2008. It was a daring design that hit the market at the wrong time, said Mr. Stallings, who originally listed it for about $1.5 million. Now it seems the market has caught up to them. They relisted last spring for $1.25 million and are now under contract with a local buyer. Kevin Tupi bought his 7,700 square foot, six bedroom home less than two years ago for $1.24 million. Now he and his wife Delina are preparing to list the home for $1.5 million to trade up to a larger home with more amenities like a wine cellar and a bigger yard. But this isn't a house flip, says Mr. Tupi, who notes that they put about $350,000 into renovations for their own enjoyment. About $200,000 went into a custom home theater where he and his son Curtis watch sci-fi flicks. They're also building a new outdoor swimming pool in the hopes of broadening the home's appeal. It's not going to be a moneymaker, he said about the home's resale potential, but we got to enjoy it.